Basket weaving is an important practice among the Pomo. Basket weaving was a primary communication between the natives and the outside world at the turn of the 20th century. The history of basket weaving in the American West is about the art market. It's also about Western tastes and native responses. However, much control has remained in the basket weavers and their families. Baskets became popular during the arts and crafts movement and through the tourist industry, which created an unlimited demand for baskets. The baskets also have distinct designs. Many have contrasting colors of red and black from various kinds of bushes. The baskets also contain expressionistic geometric forms that create sharp edged triangular designs, particularly arranged in spirals of zigzags or bands. A further aesthetic dimension is added to the basket with the addition of other materials like feathers or beads. The additions also change the meaning of the baskets, since baskets with feathers were referred to as gift baskets. Recently, some focus has been placed on preserving the tradition of basket weaving. The goal is to continue the tradition of passing down techniques through storytelling, as well as preserving the native plants that are used to make the baskets. Efforts have been made to increase the water quality to benefit the basket tree plants. Overall, basket weaving is an important part of the Pomo heritage and the continuation of it is imperative to their culture. A lot of our people are having to resort to going and buying their material from the store to be able to weave. And technically, with the, with the California Union basket weavers, if it isn't a traditional material, they're not allowed to, um, well, we don't consider them basket weavers. Why? Because it's not traditional material, and what we're trying to do is preserve, preserve our traditional material and so that it's carried down, you know, generation after generation. And when the people have to go, like in the Bay Area, they have to go buy this or use the wire, like the one lady had baskets made out of the wire. Some of the people bring their baskets, and they were beautiful, but, you know, like, uh, they were like this, and the, but they were uh, actual, you know, basket form. And it was like, we can't allow them to put that in, in the showcase because it's supposed to be made with tra traditional material. So really, you know, they lost out on, uh, on their culture by not being able to, because you don't weave the same way. When you weave with this, you're weaving with the needle and you're sewing. Uh, you're sewing. Right. You're not actually doing the all splitting. and taking it and splitting and doing any of that. Yeah. You know, so it makes it more easier. That's why a lot of people have gone this route because it's, you know, and then they want to charge $600 for a baby basket. Oh. Uh, and this, you know, it's not the real yeah. material. And you don't put as much effort into it because it didn't take you five hours to gather and it didn't right. take you 15 hours to clean so, the material and, you know, another 10 hours to put it together, you know. What about the Toyon? Is it Toyon? I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right. Toyon berries. Um, it's like a, a. It almost the leaves look similar to the, that leaf, but it has the red berries. Uh -huh. And I had read that uh, that was used for like coloring things. For dying. Or, yeah, because okay. they're poisonous. It's yeah, poisonous, <laughs> the uh, birds get all yeah. crazy yeah. on well, them. for the yeah. people. That's why yeah. they hit windows. And yeah. Stuff. Oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. We would use uh, that. Uh, the the black walnut, we oh, can okay. use the black walnut for um, for a dye. Yeah, you can eat the uh, berries, but you have to be very careful. <laughs> it's like